Welcome to the newest edition of Ask the AT Guy. Today we're going to be checking out the Intel Reader. We're going to find out, is it rocking or is it not? But what if it doesn't work? I mean look at this, it's pretty small and it's supposed to take the place of a computer and a scanner. The built-in OCR technology by Intel allows you to snap a picture facing down and have that picture show up on the screen. Now once that picture shows up on the screen, it will convert all that text to speech and then read it back to you as it's highlighted. Now we all know that Intel is uh, pretty big in the electronics world and this is kind of their first dive into dyslexia and low vision technology. So to begin with, kudos Intel, you did a great job by helping push industry. But let's actually see if your stuff works. I was lucky enough to get my hands on one of these bad boys. So basically what we're going to do is see how fast we can put it together and how it actually stands up to all the hype. Now first things first, we have the Intel stand, uh, which comes in kind of a suitcase-like uh, contraption. Uh, weighs probably around four or five pounds. We open it up, which is easy enough. Push the blue button, comes up. Little stand opens so you can slide the Intel reader right inside there. And then on the inside uh, is a little plastic sheet that holds down whatever it is you're putting inside there. All right, and so here is the uh, the box, which we're taking it out of right now. Uh, it doesn't come fully assembled. You have to add the battery on there. All right, so with the stand, you just take the plug in and you plug it into the back of the stand. All right, here y'all. And then we're going to put the Intel reader right down inside, okay? You have your various connection cables, your USB, your power, and you just basically plug it in that way. These just go straight up, I think. All right, and then on the back is where you have the output for that that can go right into your computer. Uh, now basically what we're gonna do is have three documents today that we're going to try out with the Intel. We're going to try out my bank statement. We're going to try out a book by uh, Robin Hobb and we're going to try out a newspaper. Right here. Okay. So we have the uh, the Intel reader. It's now on, it's now ready to go. Uh, just went off. All right. With the home menu. As you can uh, see, it has speech output. Recent items, show mode, settings, help. Settings, show mode. For speed, what we're going to do is just go right into the shoot mode. Uh, we're not going to go into the settings. Obviously, you can turn the sound off if you want. All right. First thing we're going to try is a uh, newspaper. So we'll go ahead and we'll lift this up and we'll stick it on in. You can see the newspaper shows up right here. And then we're going to press the shoot. to capture an image. Focus. Great. Now as far as the uh, the amount of time it takes to process, it's about a minute uh, to go through all the information. You can find that in the recent items. Recent items. Thursday, June 24, 2010, XC Copyright Epic Farms. Festival Girls at Worthy Farm in Somerset go wild as England score the winning goal against Slovenia yesterday. Glasgow fans united by win. There was no getting away from the World Cup, even at Glastonbury. More than 100,000 revelers were glued to big screens on the pyramid stage yesterday as they cheered HNGLAND to victory. And our next game against Germany on Sunday will also be shown at the festival. Football fans willing to miss the like so, Slash and Ray Davis should keep an eye on the big screens. Notice sports and website. It did a good job in recognizing it. There was like one or two mistakes, but not really a whole lot. Um, so overall, not really bad. It actually recognized the uh, the different margins, the different uh, places where the print was uh, read and it read down uh, per per paragraph. So not bad, not bad. And after it was done with this, it actually skipped right on over here to uh, go on go on uh, about Scorsese. Scorsese. 
Scar Sarkozy. Sarkozy. <laughs> yes, you playboy, you. All right, good. So it can do general print pretty well. You can stick a newspaper inside there and you can have a red back to you. So, not bad. Now let's see how it holds up against something that you get in the mail every month. Your bank statement. Let's have a look. Recent items, Thursday, 24th, 2003. Focusing. Excellent, okay, so we were just reading it down a little bit, trying to compare what was on the screen to the paper, and it got all the text, you know, almost spot on. It did miss one or two things. Uh, but it, what it did miss is all of the, uh, the payment numbers, so it basically went linear format down one side of the page, but missed the numbers. Now I trialed this earlier on, it did grab the numbers, but what had happened was it was reading back the numbers, but not correctly a lot of the time. So if you can imagine, you get your bank statement and you have your, uh, have it read back to you correctly, it's not going to be really productive. So from this test, we can accurately say, uh, that the Intel reader isn't really going to work on bank statements or anything that is in numbers heavy. All right, next thing we're going to do is a book. So we have my book, I'm going to open it up and we're going to follow along the same process. Uh, just opening it up to a random page and a slide it right underneath. There you go. Text. Text. Click. All right, give it a minute and we'll see how this comes out. And here we are, we're on the book right now. It's ringing the bell. All right, cool. Well, it does that. So we'll do uh, general text, uh, incredibly, incredibly accurate. Accurately, I would honestly say that uh, it does uh, does this 98% accurate without the um, uh, you know, without numbers. Shut up. Okay. So, uh, what we can tell from this is Intel Reader is great for regular text. It will do things like newspapers, books, recipes, uh, things like that. But when you get into things uh, which are numeric or really, really heavy, uh, then it's probably best advice for you. Alright, so I just went ahead and unplugged all these little things there. You can actually just pull it on out. Now, I mean, the best thing about this device is that it's portable, so you don't always want to have this thing. There's a good reason for that. I mean, it costs 995 pounds. So what it's doing effectively is taking the place of your laptop and your skin. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and just pick a random piece of paper. That's how a normal individual would do it when they uh, want to snap and have something uh, right back to them. Go gossip. Click. Alright, stay right there. And we'll just have a quick view. Recent items, recent items. The Intel Reader Compiles are for CWELCOM. The Intel Registered Reader Compiles are high resolution. Camera with text to speech TTS software to convert printed text to digital text. Recent items. Very good. Well, in conclusion, the Intel Reader is pretty cool. I mean, it's a stab at some different form of technology by one of the uh, technology giants that hasn't been into that territory before. Uh, would I recommend it to my blind roommate? Probably not, just because uh, a lot of the information that you get from regular documents, such as your bank statements, will uh, will come out wrong. Uh, if you have a bank statement for $134.94, it would probably come out as $19,000 in some sense. So probably not the best thing for that. But you can use Intel Reader in your classroom. If you have students who suffer from dyslexia, you can actually take a shot of that and then the student can actually listen to it direct on the Intel Reader. A couple of things I like about this is portability, because you literally can carry the Intel Reader around anywhere. 
like slipping in your purse or have it hang off your hand. It does come with a carrying case. And also the fact that you have the words displayed on the screen and then highlighted as it read back to you. And you can actually change those colors. So overall, uh, 995 pounds, this is the Intel Reader. If you have any questions or you actually want to pick one up or even try one, go ahead and contact the good people at TechReady at www.techready.co.uk. Thanks a lot. I'll speak to you soon. You get to turn it off.